Hello World, Launched Effect in Jetpack Compose. Launched Effect is an API that belongs in the Effects API family, also known as Side Effect APIs or Effect Handlers. First, let's briefly talk about side effects. A side effect of a method refers to any observable change in the state of the system or the environment that occurs as a result of executing the method, other than the scope of the method itself. If a method adds two numbers, for example, but inside we save the result of the database, this saving of the result is a side effect. So, in Compose, a side effect within a composable function is broadly code that's not Compose related. For example, logging analytics, storing a value in shared prefs, or performing a network call inside a composable function. Even updating some variable that has nothing to do with a composable state also is a side effect. Do any of those things have anything to do with UI? No. Therefore, those would classify as side effects when performed inside composables. General good practices specify that functions should be side effect free. That's also stated in the official documentation of Compose. However, there are situations that we really need to write some code that classifies as a side effect inside our composables. Google knows this, so they created a series of APIs to help us do it in a safe and controlled way. This is them saying, look, we know you need to perform some non-compose related operations inside composables, and instead of just telling us, this is bad, don't do it, they created the effect APIs as a way for us to perform those kind of tasks. Good guys. As I mentioned, effect APIs provide a safe way to perform non-compose operations inside composables. But why is it unsafe to begin with? The answer is recomposition. Recomposition is the backbone of how the Compose framework works. A composable function can and will be executed multiple times during its lifespan. Sometimes, far too often, depending on the case. This reinvocation is controlled by the Compose framework relying on the state. I made a whole video dedicated to state and compose. I will have it linked in the description under the like button. Now imagine that you are storing a value in a database within a composable method. If done totally bare, this would result in this value being rewritten every time the composable recomposes. And you can imagine how bad that would be for both logic and performance reasons. Back to launch effect. This is one of the most used effect APIs. First of all, launched effect is a composable function, so it can only be called from within another composable function. It takes at least one parameter and a suspend function, which is executed by launching a coroutine within the scope of the enclosing composable. The suspect function is executed as soon as launched effect enters the composition for the first time or whenever one of its input parameters changes. The current coroutine is cancelled if a new side effect needs to be executed or when launched effect leaves the composition. This is all very interesting, but let's think of an example based on the above description. Usually, most examples show something very simple, like showing a snack bar just once, but I wanted to extend that example in a bit more complex and realistic scenario and try to showcase all launched effect functionality. Let's dive into it. All right, for this example, I've tried to simulate having something like a, a grocery shopping screen where you can select some items and change the quantity. Now, this is important as everything here has one quantity but also has a description that right now it's stuck on loading. The task for this example will be to simulate having a network call that is going to fetch us a description for the selected item. So let's say that we start with the apple, this should fetch the apple's um, description. Likely I have created a dummy view model and we can use this view model to bring the information that we are liking. So let's try to do it without having the launched effect API for now. How would we do it to perform to call a suspend function? We need the scope. So we can use the coroutine scope and use the remember coroutine scope helper method to bring us a coroutine scope for this composable. And here from this coroutine scope, we can launch the suspend function of the view model. So this would be details view model. This is how I've named it. Fetch details for product. 
and I'm going to pass the selected item as an input. Now, the result of this will be saved in this description value that I have here as a state. So we're going to assign it. So whenever this is um, returned, this loading will be replaced by the actual description that is brought for the specific item. So let's run it and see if what we did works. As you can see, after a second, we have our first description fetched. If I go to the banana, it's loading again, bringing banana information, the same for carrot and respectively for the tomato. So at the high level, this seems to be working just fine. However, if we take a look at the recomposition aspect, means that I'm still changing the quantity here. So this screen recomposes. What does that do to the actual call? To help us take a look, I'm going to use our logcat. I'm going to clean the logcat for now. And then let's see, we have the apple. Then I select banana. As you can see, I fed description for a banana. Already we can see that we have a double call, which is quite um, suspicious. But let's make an even more important example, changing the quantity. And you can see that every time I change the quantity of the banana, there is another call. And if I do it far too many times here, look at what happens here. And of course, because there's no throttling happening, I just barely call the API call. And this is where launched effect can come and help us out. So let's see how would this look if we wanted to implement it with the launched effect. So what we're going to do is use launched effect. As we said, we takes one parameter and this is the key that whenever this changes, this will be recalled. So for the key, I'm going to use the selected item because I want this to be called every time I change the item, but not the quantity. So we can put selected item dot value. This is the key. And inside here, this should be recalled whenever the selected item changes. And of course, I don't need the coroutine scope anymore. Let's rerun our code, have my logcat ready to clean it. So the application starts. Already I can see that it only gets called once. We have the first description for Apple. Then I go to the banana and again, it works. But what happens if I change the quantity? Let's see. I change the quantity and nothing happens. Banana is still the last call. If I go to carrot, however, now it gets recalled because of course the selected item has changed. This is amazing. This is exactly what we wanted to achieve. So this shows us a very good example of the launched effect. It can handle anything that we want to be called um, just once or it can handle when, when we want it to be recalled again. But let's take a look at another very, very good example. If I change quickly and go and select tomato and then banana, so tomato and banana, as you can see, the only API call that's happening is for the banana. The tomato is totally skipped. Actually, what's happening is, as we said before, whenever there is a new suspend function being requested to be called, the previous one gets canceled. And this is very, very important because this way you're not going to have race conditions for the network. If I undo the changes for the launched effect and go back, let's say, with a bare coroutine uh, calling, let's, let's rerun it to see the difference. So it gets called. Let's see if I select two items. Let me clean the log again. Let's select two items in quick succession, banana, then carrot. Look what's happening here. The banana and the carrot, ooh, and it's, and it's called many, many times. So if I call many in succession, uh, it goes crazy. And for now, I have far coded that after one second, this fake network call will return the proper description. So basically, you always see the proper description here. There is no visible bug, but in the real world, different API calls can take different amounts of time. So there could be a situation that you call that you select one, then select the other, but the first call takes longer than the second one. And eventually you will have selected the banana, but here you will see the description of the carrot because the carrot finished last. And going back to the proper solution, using just the launched effect, I want to show you that no matter how many times I click items, look, as long as I'm clicking items, there is no API happening. So the user may be going crazy by changing the selection and this will save you network. This will save your, uh, any call that you might be doing to your database. And once you decide, I want the carrot, you just get the carrot call. And 
Again, changing the quantity doesn't really affect the API call. And one last thing, um, on the cancellation uh, cheat sheet, you remember that I added that whenever this the launch defect exits the composition, um, there is yet another cancellation. What does that basically mean to exit the composition? This essentially means that there could be some conditional statement like an if, and if we hide it behind an if, and this if is not satisfied, then the launch defect is cancelled, the, the, the coroutine is cancelled. Let's simulate this with a quantity. I'm going to take the value and let's do a mod 2 equals 0. What we're basically saying here is that whenever there is an even number, this is only when we want this to be run. Let's see in action. Let's build it. Okay. We come here. So for the first time, you see it's stuck on loading. And of course, because we said, don't call this unless you have an even number, which means that if I increase it to two items, oh, suddenly we have the apple. Now, if I increase to three, nothing happening. But if I go to four and then quickly to five, the four will be skipped because it cancels the coroutine. Let's see, I go to four, it should be called, but quickly I go to five. And as you can see here, there is no call for the API. Now, of course, this is not a realistic scenario. This actually does nothing. But what it does, it shows that whenever this exits the composition, which is exactly what it means to not be reachable, essentially, again, this counts as a cancellation. And there you go. This is a practical example of how to use launched effect.